Now, if you're not driving, you are probably flying. Airlines expecting more than 200 million passengers between the start of June and the end of August. And flyers are bracing for all sorts of fees. But now, government's trying to prevent sticker shock. To Travel and Leisure senior editor Jackie Gifford on this new push. Okay, there's a new push to let you know in advance exactly what you're going to be paying when you fly, with all the baggage claims and all the rest of it. Is that going to work? Well, we hope so, Stuart. This is a great thing. So basically, the Department of Transportation is trying to push forward a new consumer protection rule that would force airlines to be more transparent about their fees. So we all go to a website, we book the flight, but there's all these extra add-ons for priority boarding, priority seating, baggage fees. So this new rule would force the airlines to be more transparent for the consumer so they know really what the total cost is of their flight. So I book... And then they find, then I'm told it costs X, Y, Z. Right. But that changes all the time. The baggage idea, you know, what you pay, overhead luggage space, and that this all changes at the last minute, doesn't right. it? Right. It's all variable. It depends upon the airline that you're flying. It depends upon where you're going. But the reality is this new rule is hopefully going to be, it's, it's in, designed to enable the consumer it, it, to, to know what they're paying, really. Hopefully. 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 It seems to me it's like a warning label, which doesn't do much good. But that's just my opinion. You don't share it? Well, we think it's a good thing for the consumer. Consumer. Transparency is always a good thing for the consumer. Okay. There's, the airlines made, what, $3.4 billion just from baggage fees in right. one year. Right. No, I mean... Excess baggage. Now, you, you can't get around that, can you? No, I mean, the, well, here's... I mean, airlines are charging for, for different things. So, for example, Frontier Airlines have just started charging for their yep. carry-on luggage. So, to, to put your bag in the overhead space, that's going to cost you $25. Spirit is doing the same thing. It's costing $26 to put your bag in the overhead bin space. They're still letting you bring that one personal item on, but the way around it is, look, you can fly some of the legacy carriers, which at this point aren't charging for a carry-on space. You've got to plan in advance. Totally. You've got to know what you're getting into, totally. know what it's going to cost in advance. Yeah. I mean, it's easy for me. I fly alone. I fly on business. I never check baggage. I know exactly what I'm getting into. It's easy for me, but if you've got, you know, the family is flying to Florida to go see Disney, it's not that easy. Right. No, it isn't. And actually, this is a great point that you bring up, sir. You're a frequent flyer, so it always pays to be loyal. And one thing that we recommend at TNL is, look, if you join these loyalty programs and you yeah. fly them a lot, a lot of times these fees might get waived. If you're a frequent flyer and you have an elite status, you won't necessarily have to pay for the checked bag or for the priority boarding and priority seating. That's if you fly a lot. That's, so that's a big I tell you, I, I, Jackie, my heart goes out to mom and dad and to a couple of kids going down to Disney. First time they've ever flown, they get charged an arm and a leg because they don't know what they're doing. And my heart goes out to those people. And you? Well, no, I mean, it's important for, exactly. they got to read is, your magazine. Gotta, they got to read to you now. <laughs> and also, it's important for them to know what they're paying, which is designed for the transportation role. Jackie Gifford, thanks very much for joining us. We appreciate it.